What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another video, and today I'm out here on the EXN, or XN, by Big Goad, and this is the new high-powered, long-range electric unicycle in their lineup, and this is the one with the hollow motor on it, and this is after I've done the treatment to it, where I put marine grease on, on that bearing, or kind of packed it in there, um, you can see that in a video as well, if you just look up the waterproof electric unicycle video on my, on my channel. But anyways, I'm out here in a little little town called Gold Hill, Colorado. And this is an old mining town up here. You know, not much has changed from you know, about 100 years ago. There's still one of the oldest schools in Colorado. Actually, one, I think the oldest public school in Colorado is up here. And it's pretty high up in elevation. Um, if you're coming down from like the Denver area or Boulder area, it's about 5,000 more feet of elevation gain, about 4,500 actually. And some of the peaks around there, it gets up to about 5,000. So, substantially, I mean, it was a really long ride, guys. I, I got on this thing and treated it like my motorcycle. I just headed out and just went up the mountain just full on, you know. And with the other unicycles, I really uh, went easy with going up the hill, you know. Like, going if I was going to go up here on, like, my M Super X, like the old 100-volt one, then I would probably just take it easy up that hill, you know, go about 25 miles an hour. On this, I just pinned it out at like 40 miles an hour and was just flying up the hill. And this thing is just, it's so much fun just being able to get up, you know. And I'll show you some, some riding up hills and stuff like that coming up soon. But I, this is a cool little adventure, you know, I, I wanted to throw in here and just adventure riding on this thing is really fun. So one thing that is great about these things is the whole aspect of, you know, you're out riding around, and you can just pull off really anywhere you want to. You know, you can adventure, you can see all kind of, you know, all kind of little things that you normally would just pass by on, like, a motorcycle or in a Jeep or in a car or something like that. With this, you know, you don't have any engine noise. You don't have anything really, like, you got to crank up. You can just kind of stop or, you know, just wherever you want to and just chill and, you know, take in nature, and you can hear nature the whole time. and. It, if you want to play music through it, you got your music you can play through it. I mean, it's great, you know, you, it, you can hear the music loudly while you're riding around. You don't have engine noise over it, and it's just, it's awesome. This thing really is the ultimate little adventure, commuter, you know, machine to have. I, I mean, this and this right here, this Bigod XN is literally, like, my favorite thing I've ever owned in my entire life. Like, I'm not kidding you. This is the coolest thing. It is the it is awesome. It is so much fun. Like o over any motorcycle, go kart, anything, any car I've ever had. This is this thing is awesome. I love it. Like it is it is it is just the most unique, awesome thing. Like it goes so so quick and it has so much range. You just plug it in. The simplicity of it. Like I seriously, and it's like become an extension of of my body now. You know, after riding it so long. And putting so many miles on these things is, you know, and 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 I love it. And it, it one thing that shows really with this guys is I seriously have not gotten bored of it. Like I am not just BS and, and going out to make videos on it because I can get a few views on, on the videos. I'm seriously I love riding these things. And if you know, and if I never made another video, I would probably ride these things until I couldn't find one anymore on the market. And it was like end times, and even then, I think I'd try to, you know, invent one or come up with something myself, uh, because I mean, the, I I genuinely love these things. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, man, what if like something were to happen, and then you couldn't get these anymore? I was just like, dude, I would want to have like a closet of like 50 of them, just in case something happened, you know. And but like, I don't know if <laughs> the components will last, you know, for that many years or whatnot but i just hope they keep advancing and keep evolving like this wheel right here this wheel is a game changer guys i did so i i have a little honda grom little 125 honda grom and this thing went faster up the hill climbed the elevation way faster this thing went way faster than the motorcycle just because we're already at 5,000 feet of elevation and then you're going up to 10,000, and then that little bike at 125 cc, you know, it just gets extremely hindered by the thin air as it is. And then, I mean, you got to be like almost stripping the clutch out with that little bike, you know, going up the hills and keeping it at like, I'm not kidding, like 8,500 RPMs. But with this thing, man, it was just smooth. You're just sailing up the road. It literally feels like you're just flying and floating and just gliding along. I mean, this is. 
the closest thing you're going to get to a jet pack for an affordable price. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that just because, but it, once you get to get it down and you, like the feeling and everything, it just feels like you just have a jet pack by the door. You can hop on it and just go, you know, cruise wherever you need to. You know, the big wheel on this thing is what really makes it just so smooth. You know, you can just cruise so easy on it. And it, I'm telling you guys, if you if you're looking at this video and you've never rode one of these before, you got to, you got to get it to the hobby. I've rode everything. I mean, everything there is really in action sports. Anything you can think of, you name it, I've rode it before. And this right here is just something that I'll always ride, and I'll probably always ride a lot, you know. And it's just something that I'll never be able to pass up and probably never stop riding and it's just such an easy thing to keep up with easy thing to maintain something you can keep right by the door charged up you know any errand any grocery any emergency need you got to go get something quick you know you got to get down the road quick you got this you can keep it right behind the seat of your truck you know if you ever have a breakdown or anything like that or you ever have a problem um, you could park places where Think about this, guys. So whenever I go to downtown Denver, I got tired. I got my truck towed one day, you know, and it was because I was I, I had the mentality of, okay, if I go over here to this business or whatever and spend some money, then I'll be fine, you know, and then I'll be able to show my receipt and I'll be I'll be you know good to go. But I got my truck towed one day, and so whenever what I started doing is just taking my unicycle and I keep it in my truck, and then I'll park somewhere like I'll park up at the front of a Target or something like that, you know, right in the middle of the action. And then I'll unload the unicycle and then I'll take off, you know, and usually there's a Target or a Walmart or somewhere within uh, two miles of uh, any any downtown area. You can just park at that Walmart or Target and then head out, you know, and then you don't have to pay the absurd like $45 parking in some of the, these cities nowadays, you know. And that's just one huge benefit right there. And so, like, I never pay for parking. If I'm going anywhere, you know, downtown Denver or anything like that, I park, you know, Walmart target and I head in quick and I can get in in like five minutes and I mean that's just that's just what you got to do um, I, I love it for that you know I love it for a convenience factor I love it for the fun factor I love it for everything of, of it you know and this one right here this thing is a game changer yeah it's a heavy wheel but this is your long range adventure wheel right here guys this is this is one that you get on and you do not worry about the the battery level at all you just go out and just ride it like as a motorcycle with a full tank of gas, you know, and just take it out and just have fun, and you're not going to run out of battery, and, and and on a reasonable ride, eventually you will, but, I mean, I rode up 5,000 feet of elevation gain, 45 miles, and still had battery, you know, it, it started beeping like that night after riding it even more, but I was even surprised, I was like, man, that is, ins I mean, that is crazy, that would have been like a tank and a half of gas on the Honda Grom. Granted, the Honda Grom tank is like, I don't know, like a, it's only like a gallon, I think. But still, you know, that's that's incredible, the range you get on this thing. It's nuts. And that's going up just, and, and that's not going easy up hills. You know, that is absolutely cranking up hills. But this thing rolls good. Check out the road right here, guys. I want you to just see the, the how much salt is on this road it was insane and it was and this is another thing sounds crazy but another thing i really like about this unicycle riding and stuff is for me i'm extremely extremely add like and then this right here so anything action sports or anything where i have to have full focus on many different things and i'm in the zone like i am right here is just that is key for me and and anytime i can escape and do it like video games used to do it for me but nowadays i can't even i can't even play video games it's just not it's not intriguing enough or you know enough action or enough things going on at once with this i have to be looking at the gravel on the road determining what speed i need to go into the corner with all that salt and grit and grime right there i'm looking at the where the water is coming over the roads because in the corner i can get more traction where there is where the road is wet i know it sounds crazy but think about like like the marbly um brine on the road is on the dry sections it's really bad but you get a little bit more traction in the wet section so with this i mean you're thinking of so many different little things to maintain a high speed on this in trails 
whether it be on the road, and you're using, you're really using every sense. You know, you're making sure your balance is there. You're making sure your surroundings are clear. You're making sure you're just looking at everything. You're looking at scenery. The mind is fully engaged on this thing. And I'm telling you guys, it, it doesn't matter what it is. I know this is getting a little bit preachy and going off, you know, from from unicycles, but I don't care what it is, but if you can find something like this that's really engaging and, and making the mind fire on all cylinders, then it's it's such a mental escape, man, from like from the day-to-day uh, rea- mundane realities of, you know, maybe doing a Zoom call or maybe sitting in an office space with, you know, fluorescent lighting and you got, you know, that's just, it eventually takes a toll on you, you know, so in a space, what this does, it opens a window to people like myself where, you know, I used to live in an apartment, um, small studio apartment, and I come from, you know, having a garage with dirt bikes and, um, you know, and, and everything like that where I, I got easy access to it. I can go get on it, you know, in a suburban neighborhood and go ride or go crank it up. And then I moved to an apartment in a city and I was like, oh, dude, I can't, I can't even like wash my car i don't even have a water hose like outside i don't have like a shop i don't have any of this and it was like a culture shock to me and so i think that was one of the one of the it wasn't intentional with the whole unicycle thing the reason i got into it but it was like a blessing because i got into it and then i was able to tinker with stuff i was able to work on mechanical stuff i was able to you know have that entire outlet there and that was all taken from me by moving to a city guys and so like that's one thing that this has helped a lot and opened a window and i know the the places i ride and all that stuff at the beginning it seemed absurd but you can really treat this thing like an adventure bike and it fits in like a two by two square foot little area you can prop it up by your door you don't have to clean much at all like it is just super simple you can literally get it shipped to your door with no fuss or anything. You don't have to go anywhere and load it up on a trailer, anything. The FedEx man just brings it to you. And so I think these unicycles, just for that reason right there, and there being so many people just tucked away in the city nowadays, I think these are everything. And I think it's I think the unicycle is more than the electric scooters. And, um, and just, I'm, I'm saying, The unicycle is more of a thing than the electric scooters in my mind just because it gives you that mental escape a little bit more because you're just thinking of so many different dynamics when you're riding it. Yeah, at first it's a little bit tricky and you're like, okay, this is crazy as hell. But once you get the hang of it and once you start riding it, you see the advantage of having something like this that's one wheel, that's super small, super super compact, you know, you can throw it in a shopping buggy, you can put it under the shopping buggy, you can push it along and hang your groceries on it, you can put a six pack on one side and a jug, jug of water on the pedals and then push it through the shopping center if you need need be. But the the versatility of this thing is just everything. And I think, I think eventually, I think once we get over this little culture shock that everybody's kind of going through with, you know, only seeing a few of them and seeing them around on, you know, whether it be, you know, your gravel trails or whether it be, you know, on the roadway or anything like that. You know, we, we, we all have our stories in, in the Facebook pages and in the forums and everything like that. And it just goes, it goes with, you know, it goes with it being a new hobby and, it, and not a lot of people knowing about it. Everybody that sees it is guaranteed curious about it, you know. So I think it's something that eventually people are going to see the advantage of because, I, I couldn't see any other way to go do errands or, or go about, you know, day-to-day life without this. You know, it's it's an, a tool. It's, a, it's an extension of myself, you know. Without this, like, I, I would just, I, I literally feel like I step back 40 years in evolution when I start walking around. I, I, I feel like I have bricks strapped to my feet and I am, like, incapable whenever I'm just walking around. Like it literally feels like the slowest, just ridiculous thing, just trying to walk around, just just walking at an average speed <laughs> nowadays. It is it is odd, I'm telling you. It's like one of those things where you get used to it, where it, say if you're out like on a boat all day or something, and then you come back home and it's just like, you're compensating for your, you know, you got the sea legs still, and it's like, okay, what is going on? 
when I'm walking, I feel like, what, what is going on with this? And I still get out, I run, I walk, I live a really healthy lifestyle, but this thing has really helped me with my core strength and just, just get, because this right here is burning calories. You're out, you're doing something, and it is ridiculous. You're firing every muscle in your body off. But the whole thing about this is you don't even know you're doing it. You know, this is this is such a fun task and such a unique thing that you have no idea how much how much muscles you're actually using riding this thing. And it, I think it's 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 epic because like a few years ago I did the the whole insanity program, you know, the Shanti insanity program and that I lost a lot of weight doing that. But what really has helped me, you know, keep my core strength and and develop you know in my, my like calf muscles my leg muscles core strength everything is ridiculous from riding this thing and it's not even intentional you know it just comes from from having fun on this so you know i think it's even a great way to stay in shape you know it, it, you gotta ride if you just put around on it you know and lazily ride it uh, you're not going to be doing too much for, good for yourself and walking probably would be better but if you're going on 45 mile rides and doing it like this, where you're leaning and bobbing and you know tightening up your core muscles and you know doing this and that and the other for 45 miles in two and a half hours, it adds up, you know. So it's um it's definitely not cardio, but it's it's something else there for sure. <laughs> but my cardio buddy, oh Lord have mercy, if I had to walk this thing up this hill up to the to the next nail, mailbox, I'd probably be worn out, you know. So. It's it's not a full full workout, but it is. It's it's, a, it's about a ninety percent. I'll tell you that. So, with the way this whole Bigode EXN or XN or whatever, um, if you want a review of this thing, the best way I can put it is this thing feels like an electric unicycle should. This is the first unicycle I've had that I feel extremely comfortable with just high speed road riding and just high speed braking and I don't feel like I really don't feel at all that I'm hindered by the machine you know by the machine lacking but all the other unicycles you know to this point you can't go as hard as you possibly want to with it with this one you pretty much can you know you pretty much can go as fast as you want you can brake as hard as you want. You can, even in the app, you can change the degree of cutoff. So with the other unicycles, you know, if you wanted to go to a skateboard park or if you wanted to go hit berms in a bike park, you were limited by the 45 degree cutoff being there. And one huge thing with these new B goads that are coming out is you can, in the app, in the B, it's the B goad app. Make sure you download the B goad app. The old Gateway app won't do it. So download the Bigoat app, and in that app, you can change your cutoff um, angle. So you're allowed to, I mean, you can literally go upside down on the daggum thing if you want to. And you can go all the way around uh, berms and skate parks and everything like that. And so that hope opens up a whole new window. And so we're going to have to check that out, and I'll show you guys how it works in the videos that come. Because, you know, I, I actually just found that out about these unicycles. So it literally comes... And I asked for years. I complained about that forever. I was like, why can you not change the cutoff angle um, on the unicycles? And I don't think it's a perfect solution, guys. So with the cutoff angle, what I mean by that, if you're a new rider or just new, new to the channel, is on these unicycles, a safety feature is, is if you bail on it or you fall and the unicycle tilts over, it cuts off, you know? And basically that prevents what's called ghost riding. And... If it's starting to fall over and it just cuts off, that's a good thing just because you don't want the thing to take off, you know, down the road and just start riding itself, you know, because this thing will, I mean, it really will. If it has enough inertia behind it, you know, just like a spinning wheel, it'll stay up straight and it'll just keep on going, you know, it'll keep on rolling. So one thing I suggested was maybe put like a pin, you know, like a jet ski has. So like, you know, if you're going on a jet ski, you got the little leash around your, your wrist. So if you fly off the jet ski, the jet ski will cut off and not keep idling and going forward and you can't get back on the thing. So one thing I suggested, instead of having a cutoff on the, on the wheel, which is not perfect, 
because if you if you disable that and then you bail on the wheel or something your wheel is going to get torn up or it's going to take off you know so unless you're just using it for a scenario of hitting a bike park or a skate park or something like that which most people will do but if you say you forget to do it it's still not a perfect thing and you so I suggested you put like a little pin in by your foot and then if you bail it'll pop that pin out you got like a little leash on around your ankle and then it'll pop that pin out you know if you go bailing but you know so that's one thing I suggest you know maybe we'll see it in the future but check this thing out how it's just ripping these dirt roads man it just was flying just down these dirt roads no problem the only thing on this unicycle that I would change is the stock tire it comes with the stock tire is it's really good for road riding road riding it's absolutely perfect I'll say that so if you're just road riding the EXN the stock tire I wouldn't change it you know if I was just doing road riding but it is not a dual sport tire guys this thing really really lacks when you're getting in slick circumstances like this snow right here I'm just having to really go all you know it's all about having a low center of gravity you know you can ride with a completely flat tire in snow if you have the right mo momentum and low center of gravity you know but it's not perfect it really is not perfect you see right there like any other tire would get through that no problem but this one was just it was kind of struggling with the off-road stuff but anyways i loved it man it was great so that was switzerland trail it, that's a four by four trail in colorado it's awesome you can take your dirt bikes you can take snowmobiles on it sometimes but it was you know too way too much snow on it to get down it right now but I'll come back and we'll hit it this summer. It's a cool spot. So it's sweet up here, man. Got all the way up here on the unicycle down from the front range. 